Okay, so after we've done the little part on E flat major, we're going back to the uh, we, what we have already practiced. Okay, so when, the only thing I would say between bars 61 and 62 is the same we did before, where it's finishing pianissimo, yeah? <laughs> it's not scary but it is something that you are not expecting okay so be very um, go from the fingerboard all the way to as far as you can close to the bridge okay for that G then we know all that part yeah we just have then the pizzicatos they are just a little bit faster on bar 67 a lot the color yeah uh, you know that melody oh we practiced that before okay pick up to 70 we've done that uh, yes all the way to 77 so we're not gonna do that now it just sounds a little bit different so it sounds normal yeah with mute it's just a little bit different color really just something different that the composer wants. Uh, we're gonna finish with mute. Um, if you don't have one for now, that's okay, don't worry about it. Um, just, just keep practicing the same way you are, all right? And then it changes, pick up to 78 all the way to the end. So we have a few shifts here. Uh, from You have from F on bar 79, from F to G on thumb position and then you are in position okay so you will have to probably practice from F to G quite a bit uh, I think that's the only actually shift that is a little bit awkward but if you find another awkward shift just practice it uh, uh, by itself all right now let's go slowly pick up to 78 all the way to the end one two three four repetitive so the, um, the point of this piece is doing as many colors as, as you can do okay and uh, just work on your shifts listen to it as well I bet there are loads of really good uh, double basses playing it also there well this is for cello as well so you can also listen to some cellist and see if you find any ideas as well and well have fun <laughs> <laughs> 